so this here with me is a six year old device which was launched back in 2014 this is the google nexus 5 and believe it or not it is running on the latest android version android 10 thanks to lineage os 17.1 so first things first i would like to thank all the developers working on this particular rom to get the latest android version onto a six year old device so if we just go into settings real quick and if we go into about phone if we go into android version as you can see it says android 10 which is right over here so this in fact is running the latest android 10 version and again as i said thanks to lineage os for getting it onto our nexus 5 so i'll put all the links in the description box below if you guys have a spare nexus 5 lying around i would definitely recommend you guys to put this particular rom onto your nexus 5 so we'll just quickly uh, hop onto the settings again and we'll just take a look at all the new features that this rom provides and what all features we have from the official android 10 version and what extra things that this rom provides for this particular phone itself so the first two categories are all the same but if you go into apps and notifications if we go into advanced and then if you go into notifications you'll see quite a lot of features here if you go into advanced you have the notification snoozing you have the notification dot you have the battery light you have the notification light so on the nexus 5 there is in fact notification light present right over here at the center so if you want you can just enable that and whenever you get a notification it will just blink on the phone itself then going back we then have the battery and in battery there are a couple of new features as well so if you go into battery manager this is basically uh, the i think the optical battery battery management thing that android 10 brought with it uh, i think this is it but if you go back we have the new battery saver and performance options so if i just tap on this we have uh, the extreme power saver which for example if you have a very less battery or if you want to conserve battery you can just tap the power saver mode and it will extend your battery life quite a bit but we also have a toggle here to switch from performance to battery saver mode so i preferably keep it on performance because i like fast phones uh, but if you want you can just keep it on balanced and it will balance out the battery and the performance but if you want performance like i do i'll just switch it up to performance then going back uh, we have display and finally we have a dark mode on the nexus 5 so as it is a android 10 rom we also get the dark theme with it and i think we can also schedule it there we go we can also schedule it we also have an option to turn the pure black so that's a pretty good thing so it won't be a grayed out thing i don't know if you guys can see it but if i just quickly turn it on it goes into pure dark instead of the gray thing that uh, android 10 has so that's a that's a pretty good thing but for this video i'll just use the light theme because it actually looks good on the video uh, then going back we have live display so what this does is basically uh, adjusts your display color temperature uh, i think based on time or uh, places so yeah that's it if you go back we have adaptive brightness then we have styles and wallpapers as well so this is actually pretty good i think this was introduced with the android 11 beta and yeah it is it is probably good to see it over here so you also have few options to uh, change the clock as well on the lock screen then we have grid size as well based on the pixel launcher uh, not the pixel launcher the lineage os launcher and we have a couple of wallpapers here so yeah as you can see these are the lineage os wallpapers itself so this is a pretty cool thing actually to see the customization that this rom provides is is pretty pretty good then again going back we have advanced and in this we have the lock screen display we also have the accidental wake up and display size font size are all pretty normal so we also have a rotation settings i think this is again based on the android system rotation nothing is new in this then we have screen timeout and stuff like that so i'm i'm really shocked to see these styles and wallpapers present on this version of the rom itself 
so it is pretty pretty good and going back we have sound and i don't think there's going to be anything new in sound but yeah that is it then we have storage we have privacy we have location we have security uh and no play store updates on this particular version then if we go back we have accounts accessibility in system if you go we have an option to change the button layout so not not change change the button layout but you can set different actions on different tabs for volume button the power button and stuff like that so if you are into that you can just do that then if you go back we have system profiles and this is nothing but the profiles of your system so as you can see automatic default or silent you can choose that if you want then we have status bar and you can basically customize the status bar on the phone itself so what all options do you want to see on the status bar so it is right here system icons again as i said this is pretty good this basically came under the system ui tuner uh, on previous android version so it's pretty good to see all this present in the latest lineage os itself you can also show seconds for the clock i prefer it off because it consumes a lot of battery you have the battery style so you have circle if you want you have text if you want but i prefer it the portrait way then you have brightness slider as well then going back the main thing that android 10 introduced was gesture so if you go into gestures if you go into system navigation and if you select gesture navigation there you go you have the gesture bar right at the bottom and you can even customize the back sensitivity and there is a ton of sensitivity right here which even the stock google doesn't provide so this is a good thing to see uh, so yeah if you swipe from either way it will go back as you can see so that is a that is a pretty good thing again in system we have the backup reset and stuff like that you also get an updater which will basically notify you if you have any new version of lineage os updates uh, on present on the device itself so whenever you get a new update of system you'll get notified it in the phone itself then going back to about phone as i said again it is based on android 10 now we'll just take a look at what all uh apps do we get with this particular rom itself because i did not flash the g apps i kept getting an error which said error 70 so if you guys know what the issue is uh please let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys know how to fix it also do let me know in the comments or probably dm me on twitter and stuff like that i am present over there all the time so with this we get a couple of uh, apps we get the basic phone messages files and stuff like that then we have the camera which is the basic lineage os camera you can set to video audio you also have a barcode scanner so that is pretty that is pretty neat i did not expect that uh then we again as i said we have camera shutter we have video as well there we go you can toggle the front and the back camera if you want there we go that is pretty nice and swipe up to go home and i think i did enable a video there we go i'll just quickly turn it off and yeah it lags a bit which was again expected with this rom so again that was a minor glitch uh, if you face a glitch just do one thing go into the settings from the quick toggle menu and then go home so that will probably fix the uh fix any lag that you face in the system itself then we have the new uh recent panel here as well so if you swipe up we get this particular recent menu we have the clear all button on the extreme left as well so if you just tap it it will just clear all the tasks then we have the calendar we have clock and stuff like that we also have a music player here if you want to play music but uh, yeah that is pretty much it for this rom itself it's been a it's been a while i had flashed a rom on any of my devices after the so after getting the pixel i never flashed or any rom on my pixel phone because it basically worked quite fine so there was no need to flash any of the rom but yeah this is this is a pretty good rom and again as i said if you have a spare nexus 5 lying around in your house just flash it just flash it and enjoy all the 
new features that you get on the nexus 5 with the latest android version so yeah that is pretty neat and again as i said i'll post all the links in the description box down below if you guys are interested in checking out all the features of this rom itself so yeah that is pretty much it uh, if you have any questions regarding this rom do let me know down in the comment section and uh, you can also hit me up on twitter if you want i am active over there all the time or probably instagram so yeah that is pretty much it thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one